Before we get started with today's video, don't forget about the giveaway. A complete AN 8009 multimeter kit. It's being sponsored by Banggood and it is available to subscribers to this channel anywhere on earth that Banggood delivers. So all you need to do is watch the video for the giveaway down below and comment on it and on September 3rd which is Labor Day here in the United States we will draw the winner and our good friends at Banggood will ship it out to you. Don't forget check the link, enter the contest, good luck to you, big thanks to Banggood. Now to today's video. Okay, imagine if you will you are trapped on a desert island. Now my version of the desert island has AC mains available, 50, 60 hertz. Your choice, doesn't matter. You're trapped on a desert island with no way to charge your cell phone. But you've come across a random pile of diodes. Some are simple rectifier diodes, some are Schottky diodes. Does it matter? Why is my phone not focusing? Can we mix and match and make ourselves a bridge rectifier? Yes, we can. Um, the only thing we need to make sure of is that any diode we use has enough capacity for the voltage and current that we're dealing with. We're going to be dealing with a current of eh, 20 milliamps or so, so it won't be a problem. So how are we going to do it? Well, let's say you also have with you a soldering iron. And since there's AC mains already on this deserted desert island, it's not really a big deal. Okay, so we, uh, we get ourselves four diodes. And we're going to do this dead bug style because, you know, there are no breadboards on my soldered, soldered <laughs> on my deserted desert island. And we're going to start by joining the anodes of two of these diodes together like such and then we will join the cathode of the second pair of diodes together like such and like I said on our desert island we have 120 volt or whatever you use in your country AC mains available so we can use a soldering iron and I'm just gonna get those diodes ready for soldering okay alright that's not focusing is it here focus on my hand focus there we go so this is our first step we join one pair at the anodes and we join one pair at the cathodes in fact if your desert island doesn't have uh, soldering iron available you can just twist them together but I've just had it beaten in my head from a young age to always solder my connections so we're gonna solder connections just simple nothing big alrighty then after you've let your diodes cool for a minute or two it's gonna spread the unsoldered ends apart a little something like this okay and we're gonna solder them in this manner cathode to anode you know it's strange that a desert island that had AC mains and electronic supplies laying around wouldn't have breadboards but hey it's my fantasy so we'll just deal with it right And then Vivil solders them up, right? Real simple. Okay, so we have now created the most basic form of the bridge rectifier. Hey, that's warm. Well, of course it's warm, Paul, you big dummy. You're on a desert island and it's hot. Desert islands are desert. Lots of sun, no rain. Seriously? 
All right, let's move on. Okay, so as we marvel at our dead bug bridge rectifier, notice how all the diodes point in one direction. That's DC positive, DC negative. These are our AC inputs. So let's take our ACs and fold them in one direction. And then we'll take our DCs and fold them in another direction. Something like this. Then I'm just gonna make them a little bit neater. Yes, I always carry my dikes with me wherever I go. I know these aren't really dikes, these are side cutters, but whatever, it's my fantasy. All right, so we have DC in, out, AC in. Should we try it out? Yes, yes we should, but first, I cannot make a bridge rectifier without a capacitor to smooth things over. So, let me find a capacitor here. Uh, what we got? 50 volt, 100 microfarad. Perfect. Now, this is going to go to our DC positive. So I'm just gonna nip that guy down there a little bit. And then we are going to tin it. Why are we gonna tin it? What's the words? Do you guys remember my little rhyme? Solder flows where solder's been. So always remember to tin, tin, tin. There we go. Then we'll take our DC positive. It's gonna trim some of that off here. And we'll reflow that. Yes, I know I haven't cleaned off my tip in a hot minute. Okay. All right, my OCD requires me to add an equal length piece of wire opposite that capacitor to balance things out. Oops, if I don't do that, I won't be able to sleep tonight. Okay, what you didn't get to see was the piece of wire I originally tinned get launched into near Earth orbit when I tried to pick it up. So, we shall have to make do with another. Tempted by the fruit of another. Sorry, I should really never sing. But I'm giddy because I'm on a desert island making a bridge rectifier. Right? <laughs> okay, so our circuit's done. All right, you're going to have to suspend all disbelief now as if you haven't already. We're going to bring out our testing equipment to show how everything's working. So first off, we've got the arbitrary, arbitrary, <laughs> we've got the arbitrary waveform generator. We're generating a sine wave and I'm gonna make it uh, 60 Hertz, because I'm American. But honestly, it doesn't matter, 50, 60, either one is fine. We're putting in 10 volts. There's no offset. There's no phasing. So let me pump this back here by the oscilloscope. Let me adjust things here. Okay. I don't normally leave my probes here, but I just did another video. So they've just been sitting here waiting to get put away. All right. So here we're just going to take the output of the arbitrary waveform generator and attach it there we go and we'll take a look at the waveform there we go channel two is not on 
So there we are. Let's uh, let's couple this AC. All right, that's odd. Trigger menu. Hmm. Coupling AC. Oh, there we go. We just weren't centered. Okay, you see we have 60 hertz, uh, 10 volt waveform. So, we're good there. Now let's come back down to our dead bug. And we do need a load. I got a nice load resistor here. Do we really need that much? Hmm. One moment. I'm sure most of you guys know by now that nothing I do here is scripted. Did I tin those? I, I, I don't honestly remember if I tin them or not. So if I didn't, we're going to find out here in a second. Ah, let me tin them. Yeah, one minute I'm sitting watching all in the family reruns. The next minute something pops into my head and I'm like, oh, that would be a good idea for a video, Paul. Then I'm sitting over here at the bench. Conveniently, both located in the same room. Oh, look at that shitty solder job. That's still pretty shitty, but let's hope it holds. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Again, this is simply... Let's call it a thought experiment, like Schrodinger's cat. You don't actually put the cat in the box. You just think about the cat in the box. But in this case, we're... We are actually putting the cat in the box. <clears throat> you guys are like, ah, yeah. Oh, I can see are your fingers, man. I know. It's Friday night. It's late. Give me a break. All right, let's solder up. All right, that should do it. So once again, AC in, DC out. Why, it's a bridge rectifier. So let's hook up our AC main. So it's not main, so let's hook up our AC input. And of course, it doesn't matter which way we put them on because it's just bouncing around, right? Okay. Then we will hook up the scope to our output and we should get a nice rectified wave, right? And let's see what we get. Alrighty, we roll up there and have a look. I'm going to go back to oh, channel one there. And very nicely, <coughs> pardon me, we have our rectified signal. Not too bad for being trapped on a desert island. So again, just a simple thought experiment about mixing and matching diodes. Type of diodes really don't matter as long as your voltage and current do, do not exceed the specifications for the diode and you're operating at, at mains frequencies you know once once you get up in the hundreds of k's and things get changed but for now this is bueno all right i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons that's it i'm out peace